Steve Wozniak and grew up with electronics and computers and pretty much sat around just trying to build the ultimate computer for myself because I couldn't afford to buy one. Started this little company, Apple Computer, put out the first good hot products that just really said computers belong to people, computers belong in the home. And I'm very thankful of that and look where they've gone. Gadgets, what type of gadget specifically is so very hard, hard to predict because we've got a few starting trends now, but they can just be interrupted next year and all of a sudden everything will go in a different direction. And even when I worked inside of a company, I could predict what the next year was going to be like because we were building it. But if you ever try to predict two years out, you, two years later, you'd say, whoa, really the world's interested in much different things. Even what people are interested in spurs what technology and what gadgets uh, get designed and invented. The safest prediction for a while yet, even in the next 20 years, is that things will still get smaller and cheaper that are electronic. And so we'll have larger hard disks that can carry many, many movies on a hard disk, no problem, in your pocket. Carry a little card around, it'll have lots of movies on and every album of music that's ever been made and very high quality. So quality and resolution will improve. Cameras and photography, I think, will be solidly um, pro digital because it's already digital cameras here in 2000 are now outselling film cameras, but they're only getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper, and they're now at the quality of film cameras to any average person's view, and even professionals are using them. So I think the world will be solidly digital cameras by then. Click, 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 somehow easily into computers up on your display screen, easy to keep your pictures where you want them easy to print them out, high quality, distribute them to other people. I think we'll get out of the habit of keeping everything in print form. I think we'll finally achieve computers achieving that long, long time goal of actually reducing a lot of the printout and reducing paper. But it's hard to say because I grew up with paper. I grew up with newspapers. I grew up with books. And I think they're easier to see and access and get to where you want to. But I'm used to doing it that way. If I'm used to a certain computer program, I don't want to even switch programs because I don't quite know that way. I'm not really a skilled expert at it. But when I watch the kids, they're growing up differently and they're more and better informed and I've been predicting they'll just logically sit down and have their news, their filtered news, the search news, news items they're interested in right at their disposal, the sorts of little newspaper games and all that and they'll have the widest choice in the world because it's from all around the world and might be, I think a lot of schools have a big question. I don't think they'll be gone by the year tw in 20 years because schools have a lot of teachers, unions, and a lot of older people that run them that don't want to give up their ways. Why would they want to say, yes, let's go to a system where the kids don't even really need teachers as much because the computer's the teacher and the teacher's really just an uh, extra helper, <laughs> auxiliary helper. You know, then again, the teachers might find out that if they can have a class of 50 kids because they only have to be an auxiliary, keep the computer running person, Ah, they might get more salary. So the money, the money producing functions of government will still be lower for schools than they should be. I don't know. That's, that's a mouthful. <laughs>